What's up and good morning guys, welcome back to another video. So we're sitting here in the OBS and you're probably saying, Rhino, what are you doing just sitting in a parking lot? Well, I was going to uh, the supplement store that I get my bank from and all that stuff, which is like way back there. And I was pulling up into the store to park while I was pulling up to back into a spot. And you know, I pull up, I start to you know hit my brakes to slow down and my truck's like, nah, we're not gonna stop today. So I'm like stomping on the brakes and like there's a little bit of like it wants to stop, but not a whole lot. Now I checked under the hood, there's uh, plenty of brake fluid. Nothing looks like it's leaking. You know, anything of my area of expertise looks fine. So I don't really know what's going on. And well, we could either have the truck towed, which is gonna take forever, or I mean, it's kind of all freeway miles to go to Preston's. So I think that's what we're gonna do and hope that we can stop this thing if we need to. Wish me luck. So basically what it's doing is if you let off on the brake for a little bit and then you go to give it like one press, you get some decent braking. But if you like press twice or even three times, it significantly gets worse and by like the third pump of the brakes, you have almost zero braking. So on this drive, I'm having to use like my one shot at braking pretty sparingly here. And uh, you don't want to hit it, let off and try and hit it again because at that point you're screwed. And we have finally made it onto the freeway. So assuming we don't hit any stop and go traffic, I think we're good on needing our brakes for the next, I don't know, 10 miles or so. Whew. All right, guys, I can breathe a little easier now. We have made it to Preston's. I mean, kind of breathe easier. It's like 200 degrees out here. Oh, jeez. What's up, Cisco? And the bearded wonder himself, Zachariah. Long time no see, buddy. Oh, it feels like you like got your truck now and then you just don't like us no more. No, 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 we don't need any work done yet. Oh. Until today, even though you're busy, so I'm gonna have to borrow one of the other guys. Uh -oh. you, need, you need to make sure that it's got a vacuum and you hit that so it's moving right. You like my new headlights, buddy? I do. Look at that. I installed that myself. Are you impressed? I've seen it. I even watched the video. Oh, did you learn? Did yeah, you learn how to little, install it? A little bit. Oh, nice, nice. You know, I'm trying to do tutorials for guys like you, you know, that like to kind of work in their garage. <laughs> the Husky Tool owners? Yeah. Well, you know, I was just, I'll figure at one point I was gonna run into something that I was gonna have to call you for. If those clips didn't come off, I was making some well, phone like, calls. Like Carlos called me for the, the, the grill. Like, hey man, how do you put this in? I'm like, uh. Oh, you mean Little Rhino. That's what we call little, Carlos little Rhino. Is it Carlos is now Little Rhino because he's mimicking my truck like almost to a T. Little Rhino putting his grill in like, hey man, I'm like, yeah, grab a sawzall and have fun. When you're Little Rhino, you come in second place, not first place. Oh, okay. Looks like we got a freshly lifted bulletproof truck in here. Um, Crescent did not do this lift kit setup. And you're probably saying, Rhino, I thought you had the only coilover conversion setup on the 2500s. I have the only 12 inch that I know of that's out there. They actually do put into production, I believe an eight inch or an eight to 10 inch, which based on the hood height, I think this is an eight to 10 inch coilover setup. And if you wonder what my truck would look like with very little offset, uh, here's a truck with very little offset. I mean, I think it's a cool look, but to me, if I'm going up that high, I want to make sure I get as wide of a uh, track width as I can. We're running the four-link cantilevered rear end, which is the same rear end that Carlos is running. It's also got a bulletproof uh, wrap drive shaft. You know what? This truck might have been done up at bulletproof now that I think about it. And Zach's over here having some fun. So one thing about the rear end, the cantilevered rear end from bulletproof is it has this crazy cage set up back here to catch the uh, the bat wings or whatever they call them, the boomerangs for the actual cantilever mechanism on the shock. And well, it looks really cool, but then it becomes a pain in the butt when you're trying to shove a horn blasters, train horn, train horn mounts and all that up underneath the truck because uh, yeah, there's not a whole lot of room in there. I mean, the saws all said it fit, but... Can I run the torch on the brand new kit? I don't know how nice this black powder coat's gonna look. Yeah, you got your work cut out for you, buddy. I don't feel so bad now when I bring you a bunch of crap to stuff up under my truck. <laughs> hey, here's another box of shit. Great. Make it fit. Just make it fit. Dude, we're already at the 30-pound weight limit of the 25-pound bag. I'm just more shaky than this stuff. So this Horn Blasters kit also was not uh, assembled here. I guess the owner of the truck brought it pre-assembled, but... There's literally not one bolt on any of this stuff. Even the tank is zip tied on. Literally everything, all right, I take that back. There's, there's a couple bolts on the horns, but then we even improvised with a couple of zip ties on those as well. Now the funny thing is, I think we're actually gonna be installing one of these over at our warehouse um, in the next couple of days, but I think we'll end up finding the right hardware to be used on that setup versus zip tying everything. No brakes, be careful! Stop. Be 
careful. So what do we think it is? Vacuum? Vacuum pump. Vacuum pump is done. Yep. All right. It's only pulling 10 inches of vacuum. We need 20 inches of vacuum. Right. Is that right? So apparently my vacuum pump is just uh, garbage at this point. So we're going to pull it out. Hopefully get a new one here today so we can uh, get this little baby back on the road. Right. Yeah, there we go. You got it. You got it, Zach. Stretch it, buddy. Woo! There you go, buddy. I'll, I'll point the fan at you. Look at that. See, I do my part around here. Here. You need a drink? Oh, yeah. Look at this. Let me feed you some grapes. Culture. Fan you off with a palm frond. Oh, now you're getting somewhere. Right? And the Lord said, let there be light. Pulley's old, new vacuum pump. This looks important. They charge extra for that. Nice. That right there, that's your idler arm. There it is. Is that it? Exuberator valve. What? Uh, hold on. Okay. Now, 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 you, now you lost me. Ex exuberator? Yeah, it's an exuberator valve. An exuberator valve. Diesel, man. I feel like you're making that up, but uh, maybe you're not. May or may not. All right. And looks like uh, Zach's drug dealer has been back. He did. Yeah. <laughs> what do we get with this? Did we get a free like koozie or a sticker? We had to got something free. Mm. I mean, free. I'd say that by buying. Well, I think final. he walked in and I was sweating, so that's why I got that one. But I mean. Oh, let's see. Get all the brushless. Ooh. Get it. All right, now I saw a Milwaukee one here earlier. I'm gonna compare the two. That's Jake. Jake, where's your Milwaukee one? I'm gonna compare, because you know, I'm a firm believer Milwaukee makes some pretty damn good tools, and you don't need to spend snap, snap on money. So, we got a little comparison to go on right here. I'm gonna take your fan, is that gonna be okay, buddy? You're gonna sweat a little bit. It's 200 degrees in the shop right now. Let's see, all right, all right. We got two bars on the Milwaukee battery here. Turn the Milwaukee to full. All right. You got, you got a flow meter I could use? I mean, Jake, I'm a Milwaukee fan, but I gotta say that the snap-on feels like it's blowing a little bit more. Do they have a brushless one out yet? No. This is what we're doing, Randy. Randy, we're working hard over here, buddy. I can tell. <laughs> you got it, Zach. Keep going, buddy. The arm pump's gotta be getting real by now. We're like 4,000th turn there. Oh, we get tight? Uh-oh. I think that's it. That's a good sign. I think that's it. Ready to be installed. You want me to do this or you got this? No, I got it. Oh, you got it? We want you to have brakes. That was the whole point. Yeah, that's a good point. No, I'll let you handle this up. <laughs> I install headlights. You, you, you do anything important. Vacuum pump is going back in. Let me get in Zach's way a little bit more here. Could you buy a bigger camera? Can I buy a bigger camera? Could you buy a bigger Maybe. camera? Maybe. Do they have a bigger one? I'm looking for a smaller one. You now. need to go get an old VHS one and start <laughs> filming off one of that. Can I get it in there, the whole home movies? The whole the whole, hold on, let me let me move everything out of the way to get the Hey man, we gotta scratch this up a little bit. It's too new and clean under the hood. It's the only shiny thing in here. Doing great, Zach. Doing great. Zach started pulling the whole horn mount apart because, well, I mean, like we were saying earlier, trying to, to fit the horn blasters um, bracket system up in there, it doesn't really work with the X brace of the cantilever kit. So he's thinking he might be able to get it to fit up in that pocket over there next to the fuel tank which might require a little bit of modification to like cut off these circles off the horn blasters kit or, or something. Zach's really got his work cut out for him setting this whole setup in there. And Carlos is running a horn blasters kit on his truck with the cantilever setup, but Carlos is all individually mounted. So he doesn't have to try and mount everything up to this big bracket, which these brackets are meant to make life easier if you have the room for it. Basically you remove your spare tire, this bracket bolts up to where the spare tire goes and you've kind of pretty much got a plug and play system. Caveman, Caveman Randy over here. The Thanks. beard's coming back though, dude. It is, it is. I had to bring it back. Nice, I like it. Fire it up, let's see. So far so good, nothing came flying out. Up in the brakes. All right, that helps. Oh, man, stop. It's gonna get hard. Oh, that's not a good that's not a good face. I don't like seeing that face. So it seems like we've still kind of got an issue going on. We're gonna hook everything back up to the vacuum pump or to the vacuum gauge, I should say. 20 pounds. Oh, hold on, better. 21. 22. 22 pounds. See guys, I'm good for something. I hold the gauge for Zach. 
I don't know if it's a good idea that we should test drive it, but Zach wants to test drive it with the brakes that still don't work. I forgot I get motion sickness until Zach snaps on the brakes. <laughs> Thanks, buddy. I appreciate that. Put my seatbelt on for this one. I don't know, but it's like 10,000 degrees cooler outside the shop. Oh, come to where I live. It snows. Come to where I live. I can sweat. Oh, that's it. That's all she got. Oh, we're coming down a steep hill, Zach. Do we have brakes? So far. As long as you don't pump it more than once. There's one. There's, There's two. two. There's three. All right, seems like yeah. we're, we're a lot better. Yeah. I'd say it's fixed. I think we still have good. brakes. Alright. Feels good. All right. Hey, check this one out. It's got air conditioning. We should probably use it. We did it, buddy. It works. Everything checks out. Why does your truck have gas springs in it and it rides so much better than mine? You do your front end's got some issues. Yeah. To say the least. There you go. <laughs> hey, uh, oh fuck. Yeah, yeah, no, we broke another door handle a couple days ago. Well, I hope CP Addict's sending you some billet ones. In case you guys are wondering how much Zach loves me. Oh, there you go. Look at, look at this. We've got the C4 hat that was supposed to be for Zach's that I had to wear one day when I cut some concrete. So there's a little bit of concrete dust on it, but Zach doesn't mind. And then he's got his snap-on hat. Same version of the hat, but I'm going to guess one cost 20 grand and one our buddy Chad at C4 gave to you for free. Something like that. Something like that. But here's how much Zach loves me. He's got, he's got my old GMC grill hanging on the wall here. You just can't get rid of it. That's love, buddy. That's love. And he was like real sad. And, and the bags of the other truck. You want those? There's another set too. All the airbags off the Ford. <laughs> you know, we should go. And if anybody lives. wants to, yes, your truck rides like complete garbage with those in the back. All right. Well, I had some other plans for a video today, but obviously we kind of had a little bit of an emergency with the Ford here and we had to take care of that first. And the thing I like about Preston's is literally brakes went out. I stopped in the parking lot, checked under the hood, didn't know what the heck I was looking at, called Preston's. And they're like, yeah, bring it over. We'll have somebody get on it. And well, honestly, the longest part of getting the repair done was waiting on the new part to show up, which even then showed up in like, I don't know, less than an hour, 45 minutes. So I got to hand it to these guys. They always, always, always take care of me. But with that, we're going to wrap up this video. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. If you have not subscribed already, please click the subscribe button now that we do not miss out on any future content. And I've got some big news coming that I just got a text message confirming. So I can't wait to break that news to you guys, but I gotta wait for a minute. Also, don't forget to give this video a like, aka a thumbs up. Don't forget to check out workfortapparel.com because if there's anything you want in this life, you gotta be willing to work for it. You guys are the best. I'm out. Damn. Uh. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. Uh.